Hey yo, what is up FPG fam? Further here and welcome back to another Ether Gazer video. Today, I wanted to go ahead and showcase Ying Zhao once again because we made some considerable and notable upgrades. So I do hope you enjoy today's video. I do hope you get some value from it. Let's go ahead and hop straight in. We're not gonna waste any time. Let's head over to Ying Zhao, like I mentioned. Made some upgrades. The first thing that we have to note is that I did get her signature functor finally. So I did go ahead and place it on her. Now, this is what I'm going to go ahead and say right off the bat. From my experience, using the 5-star general Tianwan Gen Zone functor for quite some time and been using her in multiple different uh, content, hard and, you know, simple, I will say that I don't think it's a necessity to have this functor. To be quite honest with you, I really don't. Um, I think she performs fine without it. What I think the functor does is obviously add to damage. But I think it just alleviates us uh, some quality of life features, like I mentioned before, in terms of DG usage and things of that nature. I think it makes it easier to get DG, and I think you're able to output a little more damage. But I just, once again, don't think it's a necessity. I would prioritize Lu Liang's functor over this one. I would prioritize other support functors like Gong Chen's, Ling Wong's, uh, possibly even Jin Wu's, I'll be honest with you. Now, once again, if you're trying to main Ying Zhao as your main DPS, and this is the modifier you're trying to hit the hardest then obviously the signature functor for is going to be one that you would want to get but if that's not the case for you if you're just you know trying to decide between functors i would really go with a support functor over this one i think it's really good but i don't think it's a necessity and that's just from experience using both of them so that is that but i did get the signature functor because i did want to test that out um moving on from there the last thing that i did in terms of upgrades is a little more warps <laughs> resources are still at a bare minimum when it comes to warps but i did get a couple more on here now you can see the direction i'm going uh, i did go all in on the skill three well all in i say i i went in as much as i possibly could on the skill three and that's just because i'm spamming the skill three uh, and i've been getting questions about how to use ying Zhao. if you want to see a video on how i use her personally i mean i spoke about it in my last showcase but if you want to see me break it down let me know in the comments down below i, I wouldn't mind doing a video for that um, for me, it's pretty simplistic. I know it's not the most optimal rotation, but it's what's been working for me and how I've been getting the job done. Um, but the skill 3 is pivotal because I do go with the yellow code. And I think the yellow code, the skill 3 is more optimal with the yellow code. Now, I know people say, well, why don't you spam the skill 2? And that's certainly something that you can do. And I think that's more beneficial if you're going blue code. The skill 2, it just, the animation's a little bit longer. It does hit harder, but I feel as if you net more damage with the amount of skill 3s that you're able to do versus the amount of skill 2s that you're able to do, if that makes sense. So it just, it really depends on your play style. I like spamming the skill 3 and then ending god mode with skill 2. That's just how I've been playing her. Anyways, um, I've been going in on the skill 3 and you can see the rest is pretty prototypical in terms of a DPS. What I'm going to be going with, I think, is ultimate equation. So that way, because of the Lu Liang skill chain. Um, and then for the others, I'm still trying to decide what I'm going to be going for. As you can see, I'm going Telepathize 1. Um, I think I might go EM Flux just because I use it with Ling Wong. And Ling Wong's been protecting me pretty well. So my, my HP isn't really dipping that low. Um, but Savage is not a bad option. Once again, I'm probably going to be going Ultimate Equation on this one for the skill chain. Trying to decide still on that one. And then um, for this one, it's interesting. I'm going Melee. And I really have been contemplating going um, with the normal attack. Just because I'm normal attacking a lot. But I will be honest with you. It's probably more beneficial to go with like the Executioner or the Judge. You know, or a combination of those. To be to be honest, right? To be frank. Um that's just my my opinion but i've been playing around with the idea just to test it out with the normal attack and see how beneficial it is in tandem with the melee damage it's just a testing thing i just want to try it out anyways uh those are the upgrades as you can see with my stats with the warps and with the uh with the new signature functor it's now a little over twenty three thousand. before i believe i was a little over twenty two thousand. uh rest of the stats are the same i haven't mid max yet i'm gonna maybe try and do that sigils are still the same Skill effects are still the same. Everything else is still the same, right? So go with the yellow code to try and try and try hard there. Uh, and then you can see the skill three at 45 now. Um, now the team that I like to run, we're going to take on the latest pass grudge. And the team that I like to run personally uh, right now is actually not Lu Liang. I do like Lu Liang, but I, it's just my Lu Liang's not up to snuff yet. I still need to reconstruct her or clarify her sigils. They're only level 40, and I have no warps on her. So for this latest pass grudge right here, um, I do like this team. This team cooks, and that's just because my Gung Chen is nutty. I have her fully warped out, you know, fully sigiled out. And then my Ling Wong 
is getting there. She's fully sigiled out in terms of clarified level 60, but she's not fully warped. So for this one, I am going red code with Ling Wong. We get a beefy shield and then we get the universal buffing. Um, Gung Chen's really nice for the pull. I mean, that pull is so underrated. <laughs> I don't think people realize how strong that pull is. The pull is underrated and we get the armor break, right? Um, so we're going to be able to do a little more damage that way. But this team is the one I'm rocking. We're going to go into the latest pass grudge. And uh, I do hope you guys enjoy. Let's go ahead and hop in. All right, controller should be connected. Hopefully, I don't take too many hits. But basically, what I personally like to do is try and get the dodge for sure. And then I like to do the skill one. And as you can see, we're almost at a, a max DGs. I took a lot of hits. And then from that point on, I'm just spamming here skill three. So basically, your main goal when using Ying Zhao, in my opinion, is to get to 100 DGs as quickly as possible. However that is for you, that's what you want to try and do. The basic attacks are going to be pivotal in order to be able to get to max DGs. Um, a dodge, dodging a... Uh, procting the dodge, my goodness. <laughs> procting the dodge is going to be important because you get a lot of DGs that way. And then doing your non-directional skill one is going to give you a lot of DGs. Now, I try and end the uh the god mode with skill two like i mentioned it doesn't always happen unfortunately but as you can see we're at max dg already and once again i think this the yellow code allows you to get dg quicker and then you stay in god mode longer right another benefit to the signature functor as well is that you can have all three variations of the skills active at the same time um which is pretty nice i, I don't think it's the you know the the biggest thing in the world jeez i'm having a hard time talking while while doing this i don't think it's the the greatest thing in the world to be honest with you another thing that you want to do is try and do your um ultimate in god mode oh i had the i had the variation on <laughs> another thing you have to keep in mind as well and be mindful of is your dodges um that's something that i fail to keep an eye on as much as i probably should and that's just because i'm spamming it um but yeah definitely keep mindful of your dodges it would be it would have been really nice if that i think would have been incredibly beneficial is if the um signature functor allowed you to do maximum dodges i didn't even realize i was in god mode i'm not gonna lie to you <laughs> i didn't realize it i'm gonna go and do the ult this might be a hot take but i think i like um i think i like ying zhao's ultimate base without the uh without the skill chain is that a hot take don't get me wrong the skill chain is fantastic but i love there's something powerful about the stomp it's kind of like ying zhao's personality the stomp and then the barrage the brr, brr. <laughs> i don't know it just for me plays into her personality a little bit more and uh it just feels it just feels impactful so we're gonna go ahead and do it again like that stomp and then the world and then the i don't know <laughs> i like it now, that wasn't the most optimal play, I'm going to be honest with you. It wasn't the most optimal, and I had a hard time speaking for some reason during it. But essentially, the way I like to use her is go in there, do some basic attacks, do the non-directional dodge. Hopefully, with the non-directional dodge, I, I triggered the dodge effect. Do the skill one, and then do the non-directional dodge attack, which should still be active. That way, you should be at 100 DGs if you do that alone. Maybe a few more basic attacks, normal attacks. And then you spam the skill 3. You spam the skill 3 until you're close to running out of god mode. If you have your ultimate, do your ultimate in god mode. And then right before you're about to exit, do a big skill 2. That's going to do a big explosion. And then go right into your non-directional skill 1. Normal attack. Hopefully, you triggered the dodge again. And then you're back into god mode. And then it's just rinse and repeat from there, right? Um, that's how I use her. I need to optimize the rotation a little bit better. I need to optimize my gameplay. And obviously, things can get a little bit hectic. So, um, you may not be able to do that every single time and be optimal every single time. You just have to kind of adjust on the fly, right? Adjust when you're in game to what you need to. And, and be mindful of your dodges. Be mindful of how many hits you're taking. It's very easy to stay in the fray and brawl um, when you're trying to be optimal with your skill rotations. But if you're taking too many hits... Um, you maybe need to reevaluate what you're doing. Know when you have the variation skills up and things of that nature. She's a little more technical of a character that takes some, you know, practicing and, and getting used to. Um, but she can output the damage. She can clear the content. And she is a strong modifier if you invest into her. 
Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Sorry I was fumbling over my words. It was very difficult to speak for some reason while doing gameplay today. But anyways, skill issues. I'm gonna get on out of here. Remember to stand out, be different, have fun, go further beyond in everything that you do. My name is Cody. You can call me further. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys. Jeez. I was having some difficulties today.